Welcome back. Today we are doing something that doesn't walk on the grass, that doesn't eat the grass. <clears throat> it actually swims in the ocean. Today we are doing some tuna steaks on the big green egg and it should be a great time. That's true. <laughs> so we're gonna we're changing the weather here. It's coming in a little bit. Uh, hopefully it's not too distracting. But uh, I guess we'll we'll see we'll see if we make it. So this is a we have sorry girl, there you go. We have a delicious looking uh, tuna steak, uh, fresh from the freezer. Where we live, where we live, we don't get too much, uh, too much fresh tuna. So I was glad to get this from the Kroger. Uh, it, was, it came frozen, so um, going to talk, talk too much of that. Hopefully, it's fresh. It's, it's, it's still fresh. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So what I did was I used the everything, bagel. everything bagel seasoning on this. I didn't have the the normal seasoning you would do for a tuna steak um, that you see from a restaurant. Um, well, it actually smelled it actually smells really good. I can't wait to, to, to dig into this as well as we did some uh, actual uh, Hawaiian sea salt. Uh, there you go. Uh, sea salt uh, activated charcoal act with activated charcoal from the shells of coconuts. So that that sounds delicious. I tasted it. These the sea salt already tastes pretty good, and just a little bit of soy sauce on, on, over the top of it. Can't wait. Uh, we came inside because the weather was looking a little rough. Still kind of is. Thought that might be too distracting. With all distracting is me too, doing too much talking and not enough eating. So, <laughs> do you want to go and give it a try? Yeah, take that piece right there. Oof. Small try, small bit. Well, tell them the seafood's not your favorite. But well, she's trying it anyway. Yeah, you're you're a good sport. She doesn't like it. Uh, that's that's perfectly okay. Because normally normally you want what steak or a ribs, steak or barbecue or ribs, right? After dishes. It's probably all the it's probably all the oven everything be on your bagel you're tasting. Everything bagel seasoning you're tasting. No, what what are you tasting there? Not tuna. Tuna. Yeah, I I think it's really good. Um, I think I overcooked it just a little bit. Oh, that's pretty good though. So what says? What do you think? Mm -hmm. You're gonna go, you gonna spit it out? Mm -hmm. No, we're doing. 
Been chewing it for a while. Hmm. Well, hopefully, you shouldn't have to chew this for a while. That's that's the the benefit to tuna usually. I mean, I mean, once you're almost done chewing. Right. Mm. Really, mm. it's very very tender. If, as you saw, it kind of fell apart when I was trying to cut it. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's delicious. Um, but if you put seafood in front of me, like for a meal, I guess I'll eat it. Not your favorite. That, hey, you're a good sport. I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you for watching, everybody. Any questions about this about this cook or any other cooks we have, uh, keep them coming in. And we've got some things coming up. Uh, we're change of scenery here pretty soon. More to follow on that. And uh, until next time, everybody, keep barbecuing America and have a great day.